Dex Stegmaier was uh, with me in my band from uh, the earlier 70s, mid-70s, uh, until he died in the 90s. A really talented guy, perfect uh, bass player for the songs that we were doing. Uh, pretty much, you know, used my left hand on the piano as the a guide for what he was going to play, which was exactly the right thing to play. I never had to tell him what notes to play. He always played exactly the right thing. He worked really, really well with the drummer, Liberty. Um, just a good guy. Uh, and a, a very, a very sad uh, a, a death in, in the family for all of us. Marco Vera joined up with us in, um, let's see, the early 80s. Uh, Rich Kanata had gone out on his own. Um, he was working with the Beach Boys and working with other bands. And Mark came along, and now Mark's been with me longer than anyone. He's been with me something like 32, 33 years at this point. Great musician, great sax player, um, a great stage performer, has great energy. Uh, I, I will always work with Mark, always. Phil Ramon was a key figure in my career. Um, he, he was a child prodigy, a violinist, when he was a young kid. He's from South Africa. And uh, he was an engineer uh, early on in the, uh, the pop music industry. If you've ever seen the footage of Marilyn Monroe singing Happy Birthday, Mr. President, to John F. Kennedy, the engineer who got the live recording of that was Phil Ramone. I mean, this guy goes back to, into, you know, great history. Uh, he, he worked with Sinatra. He worked with Bennett. He worked with Ray Charles. He worked with Quincy Jones. Uh, he worked with Paul Simon. He, he worked with Bob Dylan. He worked with everybody, this guy. And he was a very versatile producer. He knew, he understood music because he had been a child prodigy musician. Um, he understood the the uh, you know the atmosphere of of creating an atmosphere for recording artists whenever we would get stuck recording a song we couldn't figure out the arrangement we couldn't figure out the rhythm or the instrumentation phil would do something to distract us from wanting to leave he'd go oh, let's get some chinese food or he'd go to a pizza or we'd sit around and start you know telling stupid jokes but he would keep the the continuum going trying to get the creative juices to, to, to go, uh, you know, to keep, to keep spinning. And um, he just, he had this genius for it. He, he knew what musicians needed to make good recordings. And it wasn't about technical so much. Uh, we used to record live where there was no, you know, the vocal was live on top of the instrumentation where there was a lot of leakage. We didn't care, he didn't care. It was about all about the feel, what feels right, what's gonna be the best way that these guys should record this song. And that was his genius. Uh, we just lost him two years ago, and I still feel that loss greatly. Uh, that was a guy who was a very special human being.